Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in and say hey. I'm going to get you pulled up so that I can see your comments. I hope so. Come on in. Has anybody figured out yet from the clues I've been posting what I'm making? And I just got the finishing touch 30 seconds ago. It was delivered, y'all. So I can't show you because this, well, it may, it may or may not give it away. But who knows? And it may be too small. So come on in, float my boat, share. Um, this is the continuation of the Creative Crafters Connection Marathon hosted by Jim Davis. So thank you so much for reaching out to me and asking me to join. Um, I'm excited and I, I tend to go a little overboard. So today is no exception. So I will show you what I'm going to do. Um, so I painstakingly made all of these yesterday. So this is part we're going to be using. And then we've got some, when you can't find the perfect ribbon you need, you make your own. So I literally just took this black glittered um, ribbon and added the same trim that I used on these petals. Hey, hey, hey. Um, so I've done those. And we've got a little bow. Isn't that cute little bow? Let me go ahead and turn on my glue gun. It is right there. Um, and then we've got some little trim pieces. If y'all don't have these, they are, I love them. I have them in all different colors, and you never know what you can use them for or add to them um, to make that perfect little accent or whatever. So y'all want to see what I'm doing? So I brought a board. So this is the Unique in the Creek horse board, and I apologize right now for the, the view. Um, Facebook, we all know, has been acting wonky lately. And it won't let me go live for my Mevo on my page. Crazy. So we are on the Lenovo, the Logitech. So we are using the horse board. Did y'all figure that out? Woohoo! And I didn't pull out my hair. No. So I'll explain quick because I only have an hour. So I had to do all the prep beforehand. Uh, so what I did was I took that same board and I bought some black velvet. Is that not gorgeous? So we've got some black velvet and I got this and everything I ordered from Amazon, y'all. Everything. Um, some stiff felt. So it's not that flimsy regular felt. And um, this is the stiff felt. So what I did was I took the felt and literally glued it over the entire horse board. Okay. That way, when I went back in to add the black velvet, you wouldn't be able to see the holes. Because generally, we use the holes with zip ties to put in whatever pedal or whatever we're using um, on the horse board. Um, but back to work tomorrow. Well, I'm so glad you are here. Um, so once I glued all of that down, I then went back and put the, um, the uh, what you call it? The velvet over the entire board and glued it to this. That way it would have something to stick to as well. And then I went now, I know the back looks horrible, 
but trust me, it's a process. Um, I know that Black Velvet song. <laughs> um, so I glued it to the board as well. What I will do once we are done is I will take another piece of the Black Velvet and literally cover the entire back so that you don't see any of the mechanics, okay? So, how I made these, I'm gonna walk you through the process because I already have them made. Um, if you were in my VIP group, you saw me make these. I showed y'all how to do them, but I literally just took and made a petal, uh, made a template, cut them all out with that same black foam, glued the velvet, the same velvet we use on the horse, glued it onto the stiff felt, cut it out again, and then painstakingly, I, I can show you the, the burns, glued all the trim around every petal. Okay, so y'all want to see this all come together? Let's see if we can make it come together. You ready? I'm going to bring you down. Make sure you can see. Yep, just regular hot glue is all I did. Okay, so now you can see the entire horse board. And what I did was I took my awl, because if you notice on the horse board right here, these holes on the edge are where your mane goes. So I took my awl from the back and literally poked the holes into and through the velvet and the stiff foam so that I could put in our zip ties because we're literally going to zip tie everything on. Okay, so all we're doing is I'm going to put the zip ties in through the holes that I've already poked. So flat side of the zip tie up to the ceiling and I'm gonna come in and hopefully it goes through. Look at there, it's magic. I can create the perfect crime because I have no fingerprints, y'all. <laughs> so you can get these boards from Unique in the Creek um, and they have all different kinds and they are so fun to play with, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to close our zip ties because we're going to stick these petals in there and zip tie them directly to the board. Okay. Thank you for floating my boat. I appreciate it. If y'all could all do the same. I would love to have more friends up in here and make sure y'all go and request to join the Creative Crafters Connection because tomorrow there's going to be some awesome giveaways and I have talked to Lori and um, we are offering, we are giving away three one month memberships to our VIP group. Yes, so you can check it out. So we're giving those away tomorrow, but you have to be in the group um, in order to win them. And we've got some awesome news coming up in the group. Our group members don't even know yet. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. Of course, I have to give a little hint. I, I, I have a hard time keeping secrets, y'all. But there's some big news coming up and we are so excited okay so i'm still feeding our zip ties through you love the boards i do too they're so fun to play with
you get an idea, you just run with it. If it, if it doesn't work out, just take the zip ties out and start over. Well, Deborah, go request to join and you could possibly win one of the three we're giving away. I'm just feeling through the back where my next hole is, y'all. There's got to be one right there. I can't tell you, Regina, <laughs> but it's coming. I can tell you we have a couple guest designers coming in. We have Pam. Y'all just saw her, an amazing fake bake designer. She will make a guest appearance in the group in June, I believe. Um, we have Mr. Scott Waterman, who's going to make a guest appearance as well. So, we are going to have fun. This is the horse board. No hints. No hints. I gave you all the hints I can say. <laughs> but you're going to love it. I'll tell you that. Okay, we've got one more. And this one's going to give me a problem. Hold on, let me find it again. There we go. Well, welcome. How many new people do we have in here? Give me a thumbs up if you're new and it's your first time seeing me. All right, so you can do these any number of ways. You can put three and then two however you want to do it oh no teresa you haven't seen this before oh my gosh well hang with me and it's all going to come together hopefully well we have a few new ones awesome welcome i am michelle from monkeys creations so if you have any questions let me know so i am literally just gonna put these right in. Can you see the vision, y'all? And we're going to zip tie. Thanks for the star, Stephanie. You never, Sally, see? You never know what I'm going to come up with, y'all. <laughs> First time, welcome. Oh, y'all. So excited you're here. Trusty zip tie gun. So if you do a lot with these boards, this is probably the number one thing you need to get. Look how cool this is going to be. Okay. So like I said, you can keep doing the three or you could go to two and then three, however you want. I made enough to put three. So I'm going to stick with the three. New first time. Oh, oh y'all. I'm so excited you're here. I really, really am. Thanks. Sometimes it keeps me up at night, y'all. I'm going to trim a little bit of this off. There we go. This trim I got from Amazon as well, and it comes in all different colors. Can you see this even like for a Christmas horse or something like that? That would be awesome. Hello, hello. This horse is a little big. They're gorgeous. So he is about 22 inches from top to bottom. <coughs> 
So next up we have, look, I had to write it down so I didn't forget. We have Donna Lang from the Rustic Farmhouse. She is up next. So I can't wait to see what she comes up with. I also use needle nose pliers quite a bit. <coughs> Sorry, all of this stuff is flying around my room. And it's kicking off my allergies, y'all. Look how cool this is turning out. I'm so excited. A lot of times you have it in your head, but you never know how it's going to come out once you really start putting it all together. Anybody else with me? <laughs> sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Did you cover the horse? Yes. Yes, I, I made all of these by hand. I covered the horse board with the stiff felt first because there are tons of holes in these boards because you've got to get the zip ties in there, right? Um, so I didn't want the holes showing through the black velvet. So I did glue the... Um, the felt on there first. Yes, this will be available on replay. Um, it will be available later on my YouTube channel. So go subscribe over there and you can catch all of my videos. I would love to have you. I'm gonna, Darlo, let me Trust the process. Trust the process, y'all. Right now, I just want to make sure these get in there and are secured. That is my main goal right now, and then we can adjust everything, okay? But it's all a process. Where am I located? I am in Lee City, Texas. So I am just south of Houston and north of Galveston. I'm almost right smack dab in the in the middle. For wonderful crafting ideas. Well, hopefully I don't let you down today. Like I said, you could easily get away with just putting two in each petal, in each set of zip ties, but I already had them made, so we're using them, y'all. We're going for it. So they, they, they adjust very easily once we get them all in there. Yes, giveaways are tomorrow, and you could win a one-month membership to our can and VIP group because we have so much fun in there. right down the road then I do know you I was Dr. Aguilar's nurse you've seen so much talent and it's not over y'all we're going all day into tonight and tomorrow so there's so many amazing designers up after me. 
Um, so we got Donna Lang from the Rustic Farmhouse. And then we have Amy from Amy Rose Crafts. Um, and Lori, Lori Franklin from Unique in the Creek is up tonight. Um, there's just so many. It's going to be an amazing day. <laughs> what is the main? These are all if felt covered in black velvet. If you please. Look, y'all going to get me singing. Y'all don't want me to start singing. All right, so we've got the last set in. Let me clean. <laughs> I miss y'all too. Yes, I made every one of these leaves yesterday. All right, so I'm going to turn it towards me a little bit. And I'm not going to adjust these too much yet because we have some more stuff going on, y'all. Okay, but look how that looks so far. Thanks, Kathy. Isn't that awesome? All right. So what I have done is, like I said, I could not find the perfect um, ribbon. So I made my own. So I took just plain. How much time do I have? Am I still good? Oh, I'm good. I took plain um, glittered ribbon and I glued the trim right to the middle of it okay and made all of these so these are gonna be let me find the right ones what do y'all call this what do you horse people call this halters the halter <laughs> piece off okay so we've made our own halter is that what you call it no Carrie my brooches didn't come in so I do have some gorgeous gold and black brooches um, that I had bought to go here and here and here and one in the bow that's going to go down here you can't see it yet um, but they didn't come in so we're just working with it and we're going for it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip it over okay so you can see the back but this will all be covered in the black velvet. So I'm just going to glue this in place. Okay. Hi, hi. Did you all invite your friends in here? Did you float my boat? You make sure that that's where I want it before I glue this last piece on. Right? Dang Amazon. <laughs> but my eye came like two minutes before I had to go live. I was running to the front door, y'all. I was literally running. Monkey's looking at me like, what are you doing? All right, so we got that. Are y'all still with me? <clears throat> I need a drink. All this stuff is flying in the air. 
Right, Amazon delivery. Well, they already delivered once. Okay, so let's, I'm thinking we're gonna put this on next. And I'm dropping my pieces. I don't know how close, here goes the right. <laughs> if that works that'll work all right let's flip it back over and glue that right there hello hello thanks for floating my boat y'all because we need some more friends in here Well, I'm central time. So all of the lives today are gonna be central time. What size are my petals? Uh, they are, hold on and I'll tell you. Let me just make sure that that is. I can tell you an approximate size anyway. So they are approximately nine inches. And I did make these in our VIP group. Um, so y'all have to join our VIP group. Thank you for floating my boat. All right, so this is gonna let me see. So I ordered these horse eyes. And let's see if it's going to work. They, I'm looking at them and they may be too small. So let's check it out and see. Look how awesome those are, y'all. Can you see those? But I believe it's going to be too small. Y'all know me. I never read descriptions. I just order and I don't like it. So, no eyeball. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to cut some of this off. So, I'm literally going to glue this up there. Okay. Make sure I get it on there straight. It does look just like a horse's eye, but they're too small. But if you go on Amazon and pull up horse eyes, look at the size because this is the wrong size. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut. I did a little extra because you never know. And then glue this right up under there. I still have 30 minutes, y'all. How y'all doing? Just pretend he has blinders on, like me. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna slide that right under there. Let me get it straight. New to watching me? I'm so glad you found me. You've never seen the horse before? You are in the UK. If you go to Luscious Lobbies, um, she is based out of um, Scotland. And she has the horse boards, I believe. 
some gold eyelashes, right? How do I order your regal, your eagle wreath? Um, if you go to monkeyscreations.com, that is my website, you will find all my wreaths on there. Um, if they are already sold out, because I don't remember if I updated the totals yet, um, message me because I just got some finals in and um, I can make some more. So just let me know if it's not on there. What is the trim called? I bought two just in case. So it is called, I don't know. But if you just pull up gold trim, then this will pop up. Put a white disc behind the eye. I don't have a white disc. Okay. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to put our bow. Well, let's finish the mane. So, I couldn't decide on the, what do y'all call these? Y'all horse people. The fur locks? Or four locks? How do you say it? So, he's had to stay majestical. Is that a word? If not, I just made it up. <laughs> so, I'm thinking we are going to use these as our mane or fur lock. Gimp. Thank you. Pull up gold gimp. <laughs> I need to take my glasses off because I'm, I'm going to cut off one row of the leaves. No, I'm just going to find a bigger eye, y'all. I'm not even going to mess with that. Look, I usually don't DIY this much, but it came to my head, and so I had to, I had to do it. So I'm just going to buy a bigger eyeball. <laughs> I'm just DIYing this much for y'all. What do y'all think about that? Can you see it? So what I'll probably do is I'll cut a little bit more of that off. I don't know where that end went. And I'm going to glue it to the edge, I think. And then let them kind of hang over. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going with it, y'all. Go with it and make it happen. What you don't want to do is get glue on your black velvet, y'all, because it is not forgiving. Okay? So be very careful when you're doing this to not get it on the black velvet. Look, I'm not a singer. I'm going to try, but I'm not a singer. So I'm doing it right to the side. Get that extra glue off of there. And I'm just going to hold it for a second. And then I'm probably going to come back in and add the leaves I cut off in every 
empty spot. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue. Now I am going to have to hold these until it sets. But y'all know I don't have patience. <laughs> Let's see if that works. You just turned in. You missed it all, Marlene. Where are you been? <laughs> I'll need a bigger one to go there. good on time? I got 20 minutes, y'all. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? An hour goes by really quickly, y'all. I ain't playing. You didn't know what time I was coming on? That's all right. It'll be available for replay. Okay, so I'm not going to touch that. I'm just going to leave it for now. Let that do set. And we're going to come and put this cute little, just two loop simple bow right down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the awl and I'm going to find a set of holes. Okay, so what I'm doing, let me give you a, okay, so these are holes that you normally put your zip ties in to attach whatever petal um, or whatever you're doing, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm going and I'm finding two holes so that I can attach our bow right to it. That's why I do these, y'all. Get your own imagination going and create something beautiful. Okay. All right. So I'm going for it. Because you don't want to put holes in this unless you're you're for sure where you're going. <laughs> okay. So there's one hole. Let me find the other. How do I want this sitting? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we've got our holes. Now I can just take my pipe cleaner, run it right through those holes. And attach it to the board and then we can adjust our bow once we get it on there right Jim <laughs> ok 
okay so let me flip it over so you can see what I've done okay and then I'm just twisting those together and we'll cut that off and then when I cover this entire black back with the black velvet you won't see any of the mechanics here okay now the trim does um, fray quite a bit so what I'm doing is I'm gonna make a little crease that way the trim is on the inside and I'm just gonna run a small bit of glue and hold that down that way you don't see any of the icky I know a lot of y'all thought I was making a flower ha 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 I got gotcha. you okay so now it looks like a nice finished edge Same thing to this side. Hello, hello. I'm not going to mess with that too much. We're going to let that glue set. Thank you all so much. Okay, so let's fix our petals. So we cover up the side here, and I'm tugging them quite hard because they're not going to go anywhere. And spread them out okay is this a kit are you funny <laughs> No, because all it is, is is felt covered in velvet. That's it. Okay. So, it literally still weighs maybe two or three pounds. That's it. Okay. So, I am coming up under and giving it that nice little curve. So when the brooches do come in, one will go here, 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 and one right in the middle of our bow to bring it all together. And y'all, Black Velvet collects everything. So just kind of cleaning it off. We could also add trim if we wanted to the ear. 
do y'all think I should do that? Kind of trim out his ear. I'm going to leave it for now, though. You just got your wreath kit? Yay! I do have some patriotic wreath kits on my website. Using the Americana scarf, because if you know me, I y'all know I love everything red, white, and blue. So... That is it. Y'all, we still have 15 minutes. What can I do in 15 minutes? Nah, I think that's enough of those. <laughs> While Lori's in the dollar store? Oh my goodness. What is she getting? All right, so we're going to call this one done until the brooches come in and I get a new eyeball. Can y'all see it? I can't tell what y'all can see. Isn't that that black velvet just... Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. You ordered one of those kits? It is on its way, hopefully. I think I, I got all of them but the last yesterday. You thought I was making... What? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> oh my goodness. So you can... Get, um, if you want any of the unique in the creek boards, I will post my link, um, and my affiliate link will save you 5% off of your board purchase. Um, so if you need some boards, use that link, save you some money. Y'all all know we're crafters. We got to save money so that we can buy more crafts, right? So, um, any questions i will go through and answer any questions if y'all have any um jim davis will be giving away three one month memberships to the can am vip group tomorrow so make sure that you um join that group um and comment on tomorrow's live when he's doing the giveaways um, so you can win a chance possibly to join our group for a month. Um, thanks, y'all. This one was fun. So think outside the box, y'all. Um, you can literally create anything with these boards. And if you don't like it, just take the zip tie off. Hold on, I got a fray here. I need to... I need to cut. It's driving me crazy. It does carry, doesn't it? Could have used frayed burlap for his gnome stuff. Frayed burlap. Thanks, y'all. So, any questions? We have 10 minutes. But y'all gonna put y'all gonna pay for my burns if you buy this thing. <laughs> uh, how long are the pieces for the main? Uh, what did I say? I think they're nine inches. Um, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, however you want to do that. Totally up to you. Um, but just have fun, y'all. That's what it's all about. Heck of velvet for yes, I just did one um I think I got the, um, it was a three yard on Amazon, three yards of black velvet, 
and I think it was 15 to 20 dollars but I got extra because when you create something for a first time you don't know how it's going to work so I had to have extra just in case I messed up the first one <laughs> and I would still be able to join it or do it it is we have so much fun in the can am vip group and we've got some exciting news coming up i can't wait to share it but i can't do it yet um but it, it's going to be fun um we have fun and we're, we're live in there every monday um right now monday thursdays um and then i'm up every other saturday and Lori is up every other sunday alternating so you get one of us every weekend um, for right now. But um, we've got some news, but I can't say nothing. It's killing me. <laughs> Are you auctioning it? it? What I would normally do is the holes I would add a zip tie. Now I'm not, I'm going to have to, to, to come up with something, but typically you would just take two holes and run your zip tie. Hopefully you can see that. I do make wreaths. Um, and then well, you got to put the zip tie in right, y'all. Okay. And then you would hang it like that. But I'm going to have to find a creative way to hang it, to hang this one. <laughs> Are we going to ask? The, you can ask her, but she can't tell you neither. <laughs> Yo, I'm having a hot flash, right in the middle of a hot flash. Um, you joined last week. Yay. Well, this, this will be on replay. It'll also be on my YouTube channel. Um, so I leave all my videos up for 24 hours, and then I take them down, but it'll be uploaded to YouTube. Um, so that's where you'll find it tomorrow. I'm not spilling it and she's not spilling it <laughs> Virginia I've got your lion and I will be working on your order today right after this live so shoot me a message and I'll, or I'll get with you um, but I've, I've got it and it's gonna be done today and shipped out Monday okay all right black velvet petal making the ear bigger yep you could do that absolutely y'all i've given you ideas you take them and run with them and make them your own and it's a win-win for everybody all right y'all i am out of here i am six minutes early y'all go grab you something to drink and get ready for your next amazing designer who is donna lang um, and you can find her at the Rustic Farmhouse. So y'all have a great day. And um, hopefully you're following me. Um, that way Facebook will notify you every time I go live. And um, y'all can start joining me. And let's create and have fun. So y'all have a great day. Some de amazing designers up next. And I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.